So how does one change a ratio into a decimal? Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I've been teaching college math for nine years, and we're here to explore exactly how to do just that. If you know what a ratio is, you've probably noticed that more often than not, it's indeed a fraction. So what we're actually doing is we're taking the ratio, calling it a fraction, and then we're converting it to a decimal. And if you're familiar and pretty solid with your long division skills, that's pretty much all you need. So here's an example. Suppose you want to take the ratio 1 over 4, which is 1 fourth, and you want to convert that to a decimal form. Now, this really becomes a long division exercise because the numerator is always going to be on the inside of the division, and the denominator, which is the 4 here, is always going to go on the outside. Now, you and I both know that 4 does not go into 1. However, what you can do is to figure out what the actual value of the decimal is, put the decimal symbol right after the 1. And for your answer, just put a decimal right above it so you can, your answers will line up easily. Now, since you know 4 does not go into 1, you know there's going to be a 0. So we know it's going to be 0 point something. Now, to figure out the exact value, you put in as many zeros as you need to underneath until you get the answer or if you see a pattern. So for example, I'm going to put a 0 right after the 1 and then see what 4 goes into 10 is going to be. Well, as you know, 4 goes into 10 twice. Then just do like you would in long division, 2 times 4. It's going to give you 8. Do the subtraction. Don't worry about the decimal for right now. 10 minus 8 is going to give you 2. Now, we know 4 doesn't go into 2, but you don't have an exact answer yet, so you're going to try for 1. Now, add another 0. And just like long division, bring down the second 0, and then repeat. 4 goes into 20 how many times? As you know, that's going to be 5. And then 5 times 4 is going to give you 20. Do the subtraction again, and you see that you have a remainder of 0, and as a result, you have an exact answer. So in this case, 1 fourth is equal to 0 0.25 as the decimal. So if you know how to convert a ratio into a long division problem, the answer will give you the de decimal. So I'm Jimmy, and that's how you convert a ratio into a decimal form.